Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wires. Myself, Jason, bringing you a different style of video to my channel where today I'm going to cover the whole Diageo special release 2017. Now this is gonna be more or less news and information and then we're gonna work our way into Dream Drams, bottles I'm planning to review on the channel and it's gonna cover also information about all these different bottlings they're releasing this year. Now, if you're new to Diageo's special releases, you'll see it up on screen. It's where they release once every year. You'll see they release 10 bottles, and this can be from closed distilleries, really rare bottlings, unique bottles, or just something really out of the blue. And uh, it's just something there you'll see uh, people who are collectors or like to explore and discover new stuff about different distilleries that Diageo own can pick up these bottles, and some of them are just absolute stunners. So, we're gonna get into the first one, and we're gonna start with the one that was released, well, actually the information was announced most recently, and it completes the 10 bottle range. So we're gonna start with number one, is the Collectivum XXVIII. Now that stands for 28, and the reason behind that, this is a blended malt whiskey. So it contains single 28 single malt distilleries, and they've blended it together, and they actually haven't announced how many bottles will be released. So I put a little slide, as you can see up on screen, it's 57.3% ABV, and um, it's gonna be interesting to see how this one comes out, because the price on this one as well, I've got a feeling it could be up there around about 500 pounds, but it could also tip at 1,000. Um, but we're waiting for all that information. It's gonna have a lot of complexity consisting of different 28 different distilleries. It's like 28 different DNA styles combined together it's gonna be something to try. Next, we're gonna move into bottle number two, and we're actually gonna go with the Highlands now. We're gonna go into Blair Athol, and they're releasing a 23-year-old Blair Athol. And Blair Athol, if you don't know already, it's primarily used in the Bell's blended whiskey. So it's the main component in that. And they do have, I believe, a Flora and Fauna release, which is one of my favorite whiskies um, from the Flora range. But uh, you'll also see an independent bottlings, and this is a rather interesting style because this is one that, as soon as I saw the range, this one caught my eye first, and there are some closed distilleries as well involved. This is going to have 5,514 bottles released, a high ABV of 58.4, which we like to see, and you can see over there they haven't announced the price, but it could be, I think, within that two or two, three hundred pound marker because last year most of the 25 year old whiskies were 250 to 300 so I can expect this to be around about the same. Bottle number three is from a distillery we love that close, well actually I like it a lot, is the Brora Distillery. Now this is the Brora 34 year old and if you saw last year's release, if you guys would like me to cover that, I can. Um, last year they released a 38 year old. This distillery is now closed and this is a 34 year old that they have in the reserves. 3,000 bottles only, and once that is gone, it is gone. It's got an ABV of 51.9%, and uh, this one, you're gonna see its price will be up there around about 1,500, maybe 1,200 to 1,500. This is gonna go very well with collectors or people that really love this style, because Brora has just been, I've tried quite a few of the Broras. I've got a soft spot for this whiskey. So, and it is also gonna be rather expensive, rather expensive. So we're gonna move into bottle number four, and this is another whiskey from the Highlands, a Tianic 17 year old. Now this one again, they haven't actually announced how many bottles are going to be released from this one. But as you can see there, it's another whiskey, primarily Diageo used in blended whiskey. So you very rarely do see this one being bottled and having its name on the front. Uh, again, with the Flora and Fauna range, which I will feature on the channel, they did have a, I believe it was a 10 year old or a 12 year old, uh, somewhere around that for this bottling. So rather unique, but you only very rarely, well very rarely see a bottle, only see it in used in blends. Moving into bottle number five and we move over to Isla. This is gonna be a Kalila 18 year old. Now Kalila do have an 18 in the core range which is a peated style, I've tried it recently, gorgeous. But this one here, it does have a label of the unpeated and it does state over there, unpeated style. So a bit different from last year, they had a 15 year old unpeated, um, this year, three years older and almost pushing that 60% ABV. Haven't again specified on the limit, on the quantity. So I've got a feeling there's gonna be quite a lot of this in circulation and I feel it's gonna be around about 100 pounds because last year's one was around about 90 pounds, so 100 to maybe 120. 
Oh, Lagavulin, 12 year old is bottle number six. Now, Lagavulin have been releasing a lot of these 12 years to celebrate, um, I believe, the 200th anniversary as well. But it's something you see as quite a fixed staple in the special releases. And everyone, I've not found someone till today that doesn't like Lagavulin. This one is a 12 year, 56.5%. Again, they haven't announced the quantity of this one, so there could be a fair few in circulation globally. And the price, I put an estimate on this one, around about 100. Some I put to be confirmed, others, I've just gone on my estimate based on history in the past. So I'm thinking it should be around about 100 pounds, which means it's quite affordable. And moving on to that, you've got bottle number seven, which is the Port Ellen. Now, Port Ellen, a distillery that's closed as well. This one, a lot of people love this style, again, just like Brora, and its price is just absolutely crazy in the market if you try to try this one. I think it was 200 pounds in London. I had to almost, I almost spent that much on getting a dram, and then I decided I'll wait a little while just to see what other ones there are on the market. Now, this is a 17th release of Port Ellen, uh, limited to 2,988 bottles, and I put an estimated price of 2,500 based off Port Ellen's price in the market at the minute. And you could probably see I put a plus there as well. I've got a feeling it could be a plus or minus situation, but more or less it will be higher when it's first released and then it'll sort of maybe dip a little bit and then go max, it'll max out again towards the end of the special release range. And I bottled at 51% as well. So rather interesting this one. That is something to look out for if you like your Port Ellens or if you like those really interesting Isla styles. And that was one that's loved by everyone. Moving into bottle number eight, it is a Port Dundas 52 year old. Now this is a single grain distillery, um, closed as well. And this one, I believe, is the oldest ever special release that they have in the range till to date. So 52 years old is very old, older than a lot of people actually. Um, but this one again, 752 bottles, very limited, 44.6%. Um, this is one I think you can see a lot of people who love their grain whiskey will straight away pick it up like that. Uh, I've got a feeling the price is going to be around about £1,000 based on last year's 40-year-old canvas. And this might even be one just to keep because it's going to be one of the oldest that they ever had in the special release range. So rather interesting over there. And that one, it caught my eye. I love the box. It looks very refreshing. Um, next, we're going to move into Speyside. And this is a distillery I've heard a lot of through quite a few whiskey friends. It is the Convermore 32-year-old. Now, this one here... A distillery, again, another one that is, well, effectively closed, I believe, but I think it's owned by William Grant. Correct me if I'm wrong. 3,972 bottles available of this one, and I've just heard so many great things about people who have tried this whiskey. Not this specific one, but others from the distillery. And, um, again, this is one I'm, fingers crossed, I'm going to be trying to source this one out immediately, uh, as I've just heard so many great things. Bottle at 48.2%, very palatable, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's this is one that's caught my eye instantly. And then the final bottle is going to be the Glen Elgin 18 year old. Now, not anything massively old, but when you've got a super old one like the Port Dundas, you've got to have something within that sort of price range that is affordable. And the Glen Elgin 18 is, they haven't announced a price, but being an 18 year old, you have a lot of availability at 5,352 bottles. Bottled at 54.8%. This one here, I've got a feeling it's going to be around about the £120 mark, maybe pushing 200 if they do go for that. But then I feel because of the quantity, it shouldn't be anything higher than 150 just for safekeeping. But that sort of summarizes the 10 releases that Diageo have this year in the special releases of 2017. And next, I want to move into something which is more or less drams that I am aiming to review. So you're going to see up on screen now, you're going to see there's three bottles, and I'm only going to cover three, and that is going to be the Collectivum 28, the Blair Athol 23, because I love Blair Athol, and Lagavulin 12, because I've never till today found a bad Lagavulin. So those are the three that I'm aiming to get on the channel by, you know, by Christmas, those are going to hopefully be on the channel. And then I'm going to move into my dream drams, and these are ones that just blow my mind away. And if I can get this, you know, that will be insane. Uh, these are going to be the Port Ellen 37 year old, the Brora 34 year old, and obviously the Convermore 32, because I've just heard so many great things that I have to sort of give that one a shot if I can get my hands on it. So those are going to be my dream drams. But from that, let me know what you would like to find from this sort of Diageo special releases. If you had a choice of one of those bottles to try, which would it be? Because if I get my hands on a bottle and I do split it, I'll probably do a giveaway with that because I think that'll be super stuff. So 
Let me know in the comments section what you would probably like to get from that sort of range. And if I can get my hands on a bottle and do a split, then you guys will see a giveaway announced on the channel. But otherwise, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to have a, quite a few more reviews coming out next as I've got quite a few scheduled and uh, yeah, <laughs> getting those notifications. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, by all means, feel free to drop it a like. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to also, if you'd like me to do the other special releases. But on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video.